great, everybody. It's Van Lee Ready. Um, so today we're going to be going over kind of the perfect pairs. I read right on 88 did this some time ago, um, and it's really to kind of, not kind of, but talk about how there are certain farms that just complement each other. I think I did something similar to this some time ago, but we're going to do it again. So um, just kind of think about how back in the 1800s where the Cowboys would have their lever action 357, or 30 inspection or 45 Colt, and also have your revolver to go with it, right? Now, Oscar, a good guy who has been following me for some time on Instagram, YouTube, uh, good buddy, really good dude, um, former uh, former military, and just an all-around good gun guy, car guy, all that good stuff. We met up at the Chantilly Gun Show a few times. Check my Instagram, you see our, our photo. And he said, hey, man, give an update on the x ep 9 also the FX-9 as well. And how it compares to utilizing some Glock 26 magazines. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that one of them can take the Glock 26 magazine, but I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to figure it out. Also, please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in this type of content, definitely let me know. We're going to see what happens from there. So, first of all, we're going to start off with my XRP9. This is one of my, um, my home defense farms. And... Typically, I'll have this in a particular play stage with the sights up. And, of course, you'll see I have the mag, um, well, it's an angle foregrip with a, uh, you know, you can hold mag in it, okay? So, let's drop the magazine, make sure it's clear. It is going to be clear, as you can see, around the side of the magazine. Let's bring it back. It's clear. Everything should be good and gravy, so safety Nazis, chill out. It's okay. Put this magazine away. The magazine in the front, we're going to leave that there because it's not doing anybody any harm. And white light. So, XRP9. This particular farm here, I think I purchased this back in 2018, mid to late 2019. And it may have been on the side of the time like 390 bucks, 380 something to that nature. Um, got it to my FFL, paid my transfer fee, of course. So, literally, I got away with an AR9 that was around $400, okay? Around a $400 mark. Now, this gun is pretty awesome. It is lightweight. It's super lightweight. It may weigh around, like, 4 pounds as it's configured, even with the light um, mag extension with the angle foregrip in the front. has plastic furniture, and it also comes with some Picatinny rails. I, don't, I never put an optic on top of this farm because... For me, any type of home defense farm, it should be able to, mm, I'm going to say, I need to not make sure, I need to make sure that I don't have to dig around with any type of optic, right? Not to say optics are bad, optics are awesome on sub guns and rifles. I'm not a big fan of optics on pistols, my personal opinion. You know, you can jump the comments and bash me about it is what it is, but I like the fact that if you have some type of, uh, Flip up sights or solid sights, they're always there and they're ready to go. You don't have to worry about turning them on, you don't have to worry about batteries. And for home defense, my engagement is going to be less than, I think my longest hallway is like 12 yards, something like that. So I don't have to worry about too much. Now, I have a light on there because you need to identify your target. Bright, nice, bright, white light. On the front, you'll see I have a blast can, infinite solution, is typically where I get mine from. There's a two chamber break. I cut it down from a three to two because with it being three chambers, it was a little loud. I'm not a big fan of all the sound and stuff. Um, for being plastic, it's pretty durable. I had some concerns in reference to how the upper receiver is completely made out of polymer. But inside the actual bolt, the bolt is, um, of course, metal, right? But the inside of the receiver is all plastic, which kind of gave me a little bit of heartburn. But it's been functioning. I think I put around... Mm, I'm going to say four to 500 rounds to this farm. Matter of fact, I'm going to say between three to 400 rounds. So it's at least 300 rounds to this farm, but no more than four to 500. And it's functioned flawlessly without a problem. Now, it has a, um, a detent back here for the buffer spring, but it's plastic. I don't really care for that. Um, so X-Star, you might want to change that because that plastic will wear out, but it hasn't had an issue so far. SD brace on the back the old school one and it works fine right you know you can pull it out some wrap a little bit of tape around it so it fits you but it fits me perfectly just the way this is i love the grip 
I don't think it needs this much aggressive uh, texture on it, but it works just fine. I have another 30 round mag and 33 round mag in the front. Now, some of you are going to criticize me and say, did you just do a magazine on stick and drum mags to get you killed? I did. I did, but let me explain. Sound like Kevin Hart, right? But let me explain. Here's the thing. I made sure that these mags work without a problem. So this one is a Glock mag. This one is an RWV. I know I talked about the RWV mag, but these two work flawlessly, right? And very often, I make sure that I take the mags apart, clean them. Um, at least, I'm not going to say very often. At least once a year, I take them apart, clean them, and stretch the springs to make sure that the spring is going to work like it needs to, right? So, um, besides that, this gun is a no-froze firearm. I have a sling on here that I need to take some type of band and strap it up so it won't be in the way. But I have this farm particularly placed in a location in the event that I need to grab a farm, you know, I can get it. So, again, this is one of my home defense guns, and it works very, very well. I believe that the X-Star is a 6-inch barrel. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to go back and look for sure. If you know the answer, put it in the comment section, you know. So, But now it's time to move on to something else. So let's go ahead and make sure this gun is ready. And we are going to put this magazine back in front. This magazine back inside. Calm down, guys. It's okay. Now, moving on to uh, what will be the, the pairing option. So pairing option, will pro pairing option will probably be my Glock 26. Yes, this is a Glock 26. All right, you can see I have a little light at the bottom of it. Uh, stainless steel barrel. Slide with slide cutouts. Make sure that the trigger's dead. And we have a, a Glock 26 magazine with a plus two round base plate extension. All right, in the FDE color. But one thing Oscar wanted to uh, make mention was the fact that could you take this magazine out of the Glock 26 and insert it into the XR EP9? Because the Glock 26 mags only takes 10 rounds, but if you put a two round base plate extension net for the Glock 19, you get two more rounds, right? So instead of you going from 10 rounds, you go to 12. 12 doesn't seem like a lot, but 12 is still better than 10. So we're gonna try that real quick. So we know this gun is clear. Take the magazine out. Rack it, of course, make sure it's good. You know, it's, it's nice, clear, open. We're gonna take this 26 mag. Let's see if it'll fit in. Ooh, no. Darn, it could be because I have the plus two base plate extension on there, but it, it won't it won't work. So you guys are seeing on camera that uh, Glock 26 magazine with a plus two base plate extension will not fit inside the XR EP9. Now I know my Glock 19 magazine will fit, so it's not a problem at all because I've done it before. I ran 19 mags in here. So we're gonna put this back to the side so you guys saw a little bit of proof, so you guys can save some money you can save a little bit of dough if you were looking to get this farm for that particular purpose. You know that that's, that's not going to happen. Now, back to the 26. You guys see it is a 26, right? It is a 26. Fits in the hand really nicely. But I don't like the fact that the pink hangs off. That's not a, that's, that's a, that's a, uh, it's not a good thing for me, right? I don't like that at all. Kill the trigger. But so you put in the 26 magazine. With the base plate extension, you now have a place to put that pinky. So it almost feels like you're holding on to a 19, but you have just a shorter, shorter slide. All right, so we're going to put that away. Now, we're going to pull out the FX9, and we're going to see if the FX9 can also can take the Glock 26 magazine. And you guys are seeing it live on camera, just like I'm seeing it as well. Not live, but, you know, after the effect. After the fact. All right, so... This particular farm is uh, the FX9. This is my ATV gun, okay? So this one does have an optic on it, and it has some backup sights by Magpul, plastic ones, of course. And they are an FDE because it was just spare sights that I had. This one is zero for 25 yards, just like the XR EP9. This one is built a little beefier, a little tougher. It is heavier. Um, you can see on the back that I have a uh, blade a blade brace from the rear. I have a makeshift <laughs> sling that I, I took some material and turned it into a single point sling, but it's wrapped up pretty tightly. 
And this farm spends most of his life inside of a uh, short bag, just in case I have to take it out and deploy it. Uh, when I ride, I do typically carry. I mean, I carry and I have a handgun on me, on my person somewhere. But in case things would get a little worse or, you know, they get back to the point where I need a little bit of uh, extension and I need some distance or I create some distance, I can take out my sub gun. This is an eight and a quarter inch barrel uh, firearm. It is a FX9, Freedom Ordnance FX9. In the front here, you see I have a Glock 17 magazine. Well, inside of the vertical, mm, excuse me, angle foregrip, my apologies. And back here, you see that I have a, a standard Glock 17 magazine with two round base plate extension. You might say, what's the purpose of having the standard Glock 17 magazine up front and the angle full grip, and why I have the Glock 17 magazine inside of the gun. This is because this gun is used for travel, right? Not necessarily for travel, but it's used for being and put inside of a tight space. Um, so I have to make, I, I'm not going to be able to have long 33 round Glock magazine sticking out. Now, I do keep a spare 33 round mag inside of my, my bag, right? That this is in when it's inside of the trunk of my, my ATV, inside my ATV trunk. But also, I'm typically carrying a 9mm, whether it's a Glock 19 or 17, that also has a um, magazine. So I have additional magazines, so no worries at all. And if I get into a situation, my goal is not to just sit there and be shooting <laughs> damn near 100 rounds. My goal is to get myself out of that situation so I get to safety, right? So I want you guys to think about that, too. I'm not trying to go to war with anybody or anything. I'm just trying to make sure I can defend myself and whoever's riding with me and get to safety. So make sure that you do definitely understand that. Now, this is clear. Let's check it. It is it's good to go. Oh, that, uh, that bolt spring come back so nice and easy. This farm at the time when I purchased it was about 700 bucks. And this was back in, I don't know, 2018, I guess, 2018, 2017. And it's the Freedom Ordinance FX9. As you can see here, uh, the opposite of the XRDP9, you, I had a uh, Infinite Solutions break with a linear comp on top. This one instead actually just has a, a CAC Industries one inch linear comp on there. And it works very, very well. It works very, very well. That's all. But we still have to test one thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Glock 26, right? I might start thinking that I actually like 26s. I'm gonna clear it, make sure it's good. It's fine. The one and four is good to go. This one has a stainless steel barrel and it shoots very, very well. And I have a light on there for sort of later. TR6. So kill the trigger. Let's see if for this particular um this gun can take the Glock 26 magazine. Because that was what our school wanted to know. <gasps> Wonderful! So, if you want to take your Glock 26 magazine, it will fit inside of the Freedom Ordnance FX9, okay, without a problem. So, let that be known to you guys. A lot of you probably already knew that, but, you know, I, I just didn't know it. Kill that trigger, make sure the trigger's dead. Alright, and just to make sure that it's not just that particular magazine, we're going to take the magazine out of this 26 as well. And try it. So here it is. Fits like the glove. Okay. This one also has a stainless steel barrel. All right, that is wonderful. Guys, listen. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, follow. I think it's so easy to pull back. Please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. like, subscribe, share, and follow. And um, let me know if you guys have an XR EP9. Let me know if you guys think this gun is a piece of crap. If you think it's junk, if you don't think it's useful. To me, with it having a short barrel and being so compact, I can stick it in the bag. I think the bag is 25 inches long and maybe 8 inches in width with... Um, I don't remember what the thickness is, but that bag can fit nicely into the trunk that I have on the back of my ATV. Boom, right? Also, if I need to throw the bag on my back, I can do it without a problem. 
Now, typically, I will um, ride with some type of protection. Why not? Uh, because there are some really weird people out there who may or may not, I would say may, be interested in doing some harm, and I'm just not, I'm not for uh, playing those type of games. So, I carry something with me. Why not? Plus, I also hunt, right? I hunt, so I don't want to be in a situation where I uh, grab a deer, and for, for whatever strange reason, a rabbit coy uh, not coy rabbit coyote or a uh, fox, something like that, wants to try to take what I've uh, what I've killed. I don't have time for that. Now, with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you like things like this, let me know. Feel free to DM me for any content that you want to see. MD underscore ready. Thanks again, guys. Have a blessed one. Take care.